guys so i am here today to do my october tbr which is actually going to be a themed one i've decided i'm going to call it outer space october because i like alliteration and that was the best i could come up with for o's and october plus i really want to read some science fiction and i've been saying it for months and i haven't been doing it so i'm going to really push myself to do it and push myself to actually find some new science fiction authors that I like. So I've got lots of science fiction. I also have four books that I'm going to be reading as part of the gothic read-along which Jenny from Sunny Sweet Pea is hosting. I'll put a link to her video. If you guys want to join us you can read throughout the entire month. We're going to be reading four books, one each week, and I will tell you guys what they are. So let's get started. The first thing I have on my TBR is Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I want to get to this because I have been saying for a while that I wanted to try some Adrian Tchaikovsky. I was going to start with his other series but seeing as this is the one that a lot of people are talking about and it's relevant because it won the Clark Award, I decided I would start with this one. It's about some people who go to a new world and when they get there they discover this great treasure, a world that has already been terraformed. That's all I know. It sounds very good. I'm very intrigued. Hopefully I like it. The next book I have is a Robert A. Heinlein book and it is The Moon is a Harsh Mistress, which I think is probably his most famous work. This is described as a tale of revolution of the rebellion of the former lunar penal colony against the lunar authority that controls it from Earth. It is the tale of the disparate people, a computer technician, a vigorous young female agitator, and an elderly academic who became the rebel movement's leaders. It sounds pretty good. I think I'm going to be reading this with James from James Chatham, so I'll link him below. And I'm very excited to give it a go at last. Um, I've owned it for a while now. I think I got this a year ago for my birthday from James. So it's about time that I read it really, and it's not too long, and I think it's gonna be a, a pretty interesting one to discuss. So I'm looking forward to that. The next one I have is 2312 or 2312. I've never really known what it's called by Kim Stanley Robinson. This is a science fiction and it is set in the year 2312. Scientific and technological advances have opened gateways into an extraordinary future and Earth is no longer humanity's only home. New habitats have been created throughout the solar system on moons, planets and in between. But in this year, 2312, a sequence of events will force humanity to confront its past, its present and its future which sounds pretty good. I've read a short story by Kim Stanley Robinson before and I enjoyed that a lot so I wanted to try out his work in novel form and this seems like the perfect one to start off with. I'm going to be reading this with Eleanor and James and Joe I hope so that should be good fun. I'll link them all below and we should have some good discussions of this I think so looking forward to that. The next one I have is Revenger by Alistair Reynolds which I believe is going to be a good one. It says it's in the space opera genre or subgenre, which is good because I tend to like space operas more than like hard SF novels. It says, from the dark distant future and the rubble of our solar systems comes a tale of space pirates, buried treasure and phantom weapons, of unspeakable hazards and single-minded heroism and of vengeance. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. I think that Joe from Final Blow Joe has read or is reading this right now. And I've heard from Stevie, from Stevie Finnegan, that this is a really good book. So I'm hopeful that I'll like it too. Fingers crossed I will. You guys have probably already heard me talk about Stephen Baxter as well. Whenever I talk about Reynolds, it seems like I'm talking about them both at the same time. This is his short story collection called Obelisk. Some of the short stories are set in the Ultima and Proxima world, which is where he's written a duology of novels. I don't really know too much more than that, but I'm pretty excited about it and I'm hoping that I like them. And I think the short story format should help me to break it up a little bit. So that, that'll be fun. The next one I have is called Forsaken Skies by D. Nolan Clark, and it came out very recently. So this is a fairly new release. I'm hoping that I might get to discuss this one with Thomas from SFF 180, but it kind of depends if our schedules overlap reading wise. It says that this is set in a time where everyone in space has kind of developed this peace period. There's nothing really going wrong. And then a big colony of invaders comes along and an armada emerges out of nowhere and 
everyone is kind of worried and terrified and all of the higher up people like the bureaucrats are kind of just not really paying any attention and not thinking of how to help. So it's all up to battle scarred commander Alistair Leno, who will not abandon the innocents to this horrible fate. Sounds pretty action-packed, I'm definitely intrigued, and I hope that it's a good one. The next one I have is another collection of short stories. I don't know if all of these would count as outer space, so to speak, but they're definitely all sci-fi, and it's called Invaders, 22 Tales from the Outer Limits of Literature. It's got various different authors. I will show you their names there so that you can see if there's anyone there that you recognise. I'm definitely intrigued about this one. I've had it for a little while now and I definitely wanted to get to it for a while so I think it's going to be interesting. I believe a lot of these are literary writers who are trying their hand at science fiction and so that will be interesting. And the final one that I have on my list for Outer Space October is Roboteer by Alex Lamb. This is about the human race spreading to the stars and the few who live in the wastes of space have been forced to adapt themselves with technology and genetic modification. For the billions who are left on Earth trapped in squalor and gripped by a new religious fervour, those who have tampered with the human form are heretics. And so the unequal war begins. It sounds pretty good. I know Eleanor picked this up a while ago and I'm hopeful that I'll like it because it does definitely sound like my kind of fun, fast-paced, action-packed science fiction rather than too nitty gritty on the details. Now moving on to the books for the gothic read along. As I said we have four books that we're going to be reading. The first one from the 1st to the 12th of October is Jamaica Inn. I'm not going to be reading Jamaica Inn because Jamaica Inn for some reason does not appeal to me so I'm not going to be reading that one. Instead I'm replacing Jamaica Inn with Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde by R.L. Stevenson. I've never read Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde. I know terrible isn't it but I haven't so I think it's about time that I do in seeking to discover his inner self the brilliant Dr Henry Jekyll discovers a monster first published to immediate acclaim in 1886 this mesmerizing thriller is a terrifying study of the duality of man's nature and it is the book which established Stevenson's reputation as a writer hopefully I like it I think it'll be creepy enough to count towards the gothic so I am replacing Jamaica in with this one. Sorry, Jenny, I hope you don't mind, but I'm cheating. The next three books I will be reading. So the next one on our list is from the 12th to the 20th of October, and that is We Have Always Lived in a Castle. This one I have on the way to me. It's coming in the post. It's not arrived yet, but I do have it and I've ordered it. So it hopefully will get here before I have to read that one. The next one from the 20th to the 31st is The Picture of Dorian Gray. It was first published in 1890 and it's a brilliantly designed puzzle intended to tease conventional minds with its exploration of the myriad interrelationships between art, life and consequence. Alongside all of those, we will be reading a short story collection, which is Angela Carter's The Bloody Chamber and Other Stories. Again, this is one that I have ordered, but it's not turned up in the post yet, so hopefully it gets here soon. I think this will be good. I've heard good things from like Mercedes and other people who have read this collection, so I think I'll like it. That's everything that I'm planning to read. That's not to say that I'm going to only read these things. I think I will end up picking up other things, particularly the own voices readathon that is going on. Katie from Katie Loves to Read is running a readathon with one of her friends and it's called hashtag own voices. It's all about reading books by authors who kind of embody or have written about their own personal experiences somehow and you can interpret that however you want. I don't really think most of these books that I've shown you are own voices books but if I can find some own voices books on my shelves, then I will definitely give some of those a go. I don't have anything specifically planned for it, but I will be trying to on the side participate in that read along. And I'll put a link to their announcement and everything down below if you haven't heard of it, because I think it's going to be really great. And after doing the Diversathon last month, I had a fantastic time doing it. So I really want to keep that like diverse reading going on. That is my list. I'd love to hear if you guys have read any of these, or what you thought, if you have. Do leave me comments on which ones you want me to read most or if there's any own voices books that you can advise me to read within the SFF genre because I think that's a little trickier and I do mostly own SFF books so let me know on that. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye! Thank you for watching.
I'm 50 old today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.